guys, welcome back to Homeware Network. Cody and Haley here with week seven in the Summer Cocktail Series, and we've got kind of a curveball tiki cocktail for you today. Yeah, we are doing, uh, it's classically tiki in that it has a lot of ingredients, but the star of the show is bourbon instead of rum. Very, very interesting as far as tiki cocktails go. Yeah, and it, and it comes from the Halakalani Hotel. Um, in the 1930s, there was a lounge called the House Without a Key Lounge, and this on was created Waikiki Beach. on Waikiki Beach. Um, so kind of a fun little cool history because you don't normally think of a bourbon cocktail being in Hawaii in yeah, the 30s. There probably wasn't very much bourbon to choose from in Hawaii in the 1930s, yeah. if I had to guess. So kudos to that innovator behind the bar, whoever they were. Yeah. Um, and now we are going to give it a shot and show you how to make it. That's it. And we're using Elijah Craig today. This is Elijah Craig small batch in this absolutely gigantic bottle that we yeah, have. Comically <laughs> large, 1.75. If you can't tell, we love Elijah Craig small batch. So here's how we're gonna make the cocktail, the Hale Kulani cocktail. Hale Kulani. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of bourbon. And this is actually the only alcohol in this cocktail, except for one dash of Angostura bitters. Yeah, which, so it's, not a, it's not a superly, super strong. Super, super superly really strong. It's not a super strong tea cocktail. Here we cocktail. go, one dash, <laughs> boom. One, kind of one and a half. Lots of fresh squeezed juices in this tiki cocktail though, yeah. which is it's pretty typical to have a lot of juices in a tiki drink. Yeah. We're going to do uh, some pineapple first. We're going to do a half ounce pineapple. Half ounce pineapple. Half ounce pineapple. Then we we're going to do a half ounce lemon. Fresh squeezed lemon. Fresh squeezed lemon. Half ounce. We're going to do a half ounce of fresh squeezed OJ. Sweet. And then we're going to do a quarter ounce of a rich demerara syrup. So, so when we say rich syrup, that just means instead of a simple syrup being one to one, one part sugar, one part water, a rich syrup will always be two parts sugar to one part water. That's where the richness comes from. Yes. And last but not least, we've got some grenadine, house made grenadine, and it's just a half of a teaspoon or a half of a bar spoon of grenadine. And for those that don't know, grenadine is not cherry syrup and it is not come in a plastic bottle at the store. Grenadine is pomegranate juice and sugar, equal reduced. parts, reduced <laughs> yeah. into a syrup, that's it. Boil pomegranate juice with equal parts sugar until all the sugar is dissolved and you've got grenadine. Just a tiny bit of grenadine there. And we'll kind of go like that. To get and we just use in. Pama brand pomegranate juice? Not Pama, Palm. Excuse me, Palm. Palm I'm Wonderful. Thinking, I'm thinking of the You're pomegranate You're thinking of the, of the liqueur. Palm Wonderful. Both fantastic wonderful. products. <laughs> so we're gonna grab some ice and we're gonna shake it up. All right guys, here we go. For anyone interested, we got this recipe from the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book. This is an amazing, amazing book if you're learning, if you're wanting to learn more about tiki drinks. So much good information in there. Syrups. I mean, so many amazing recipes. We're actually going to be doing a, the jet pilot from this book next week. Yep. And they actually, in that book, there's an entire like compendium in the back of whatever kind of, if it says to use, you know, like a dark rum in one of the recipes, you can go to the back and they'll recommend all the dark rums that would fit that recipe. Or a blended or, or a whatever. Or blended rum so. or a gold rum, whatever. It's, it's really, really cool. It's a great guide. Great Great book. guide. All right, let's We're see gonna what strain this cocktail, out. double strain the cocktail into a chill coop. All right, we've got a nice kind of peachy color here from that pineapple, bourbon, grenadine, Yeah, it is Angostura. kind of peach, isn't it? And which the flower orange. should we put on top? Mm, probably... I don't know, they both look good. I think the red will probably look a little better. What do you think? Okay. Let's try this out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna taste this before I put the flower in because these aren't edible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so typically you yeah. would garnish this with an edible orchid. We do not have the luxury of having any of those right now. Ooh, it's very nice. Let me see. The bourbon really does come through. Oh yeah. It's nice, right? It's and the grenadine is really subtle. You the pineapple's really subtle. I think that's why we got kind of a cool little froth there. And then we'll just float that on top. And that's your Holly Kulani cocktail from uh, Waikiki Beach in the 1930s. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. All right, and stay tuned for our next 
episode next Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, debuting on our YouTube channel, we will be doing the Jet Pilot, which is a super leaded uh, tiki drink with what, different types of rum. rum. Yeah, it's gonna be All really fun. Of good stuff. See you next week, guys. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.